Hi, you guys. I'm here to bring you the daily telepathy. For those of you guys that identify with Twin Flame Connection, it's general, so that means it's not going to resonate um, every time. But if it does resonate, there is an extended. Uh, the link will be below um, to my site if you just want the one-time access or if you want to get join the um, Patreon, okay? Um, all the decks I'm using here today will be listed below. Uh, the ones that are mines, you can only get from the links um, in the description box below. Okay, so you may have to click on that uh, twice where it says more. Um, I'm going to do a little bit something different here uh, with this reading. I mean, it's, it's not that major, but it's, it is different. So I'm going to see the energy, the masculine is in, the feminine is in. And then at the end of this, um, before I take it over to the extended, we're going to get the overall energy of how this uh, person that you are relating to, your twin, um, their uh, energy towards you, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and dissect that and clarify it uh, further in the extended, okay? All right. So I'm using my his situation, situations, and her situations. Messages from the divine masculine, mess messages from the divine feminine. This is the Egyptian tarot. This was a gift. And I'll use the kipper to clarify if I'm not clear. Okay. All right. So let's first get these cards and this energy on the masculine side. All right. So we have here, I'm in a karmic relationship, but we sleep in separate beds. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me just hold that back. Okay. Um, let me get the situation this involves. Okay. So we have synchronicities, signs, 1111, 222, 333, 8. So this masculine could be seeing these uh, signs. You could be picking up on these signs. Um, this karmic energy also could be um, the number eight is kind of what I'm getting because that can indicate um, beyond abundance, it could indicate some type of uh, loop, something that's happening. And then now we have here, um, the king of the king of wands. Okay. So this masculine that's coming through here could be a Leo Sagittarius or Aries, but it doesn't necessarily mean so it could just be in an action oriented energy. So what I'm getting here, there is some karmic situation going on. Now this could be a lover, family member, or a friend, um, in the house. Okay. And mean, meaning trying to explain the reason why they could be in separate beds. They could be separate beds because if it is a romantic, they just no longer relate to one another and they're not, you know, not feeling it, but they still live under the same house or there's a family member or friend or someone that's like family that could be affecting, um, the relationship with this masculine. Okay. So, um, that's what I'm getting, uh, so far with this for his general energy, but I'm also getting like this masculine could be about to take action towards this karmic relationship. Maybe he's getting signs that that's what he needs to do. Okay. He needs to take some type of, um, action towards this. Okay. Um, let me clarify this. This is a kipper for his general energy of why this is here. Community. Okay. So this is somebody in his community. Like I said, it could be um, a part of just like, um, you know, um, a community that, you know, he has uh, something in common with, with someone else. Could be the neighborhood. It could be um, family um, cause there are, you know, different people. It could be just, you know, um, maybe like older relatives. I see someone older here. There's a child here. Um, but it does look like there's some type of, um, this is the energy he's, he's in. Okay. So he could be thinking about taking action towards this, or that's what's surrounding him at this time. 39 could be significant. This could be his, his, um, age or the number could be, you know, um, mean something to you. Um, number 12 is also, um, the number and I'm seeing that 12 here with the one, two energy. So something about 12, um, could be significant with this masculine that's coming through here. All right. So let's go ahead now and get where the feminine's energy is at. I will take you back. All you have to do is ask. Lost 
ghost it, blocked, cut off. And then we have here the queen of chalices. Is that what this says? Yeah, okay, I had to make sure. Um, feels like it's getting darker in here. I have a light on as you see, but um, it's in mid, mid change. Like, I don't know what time it is. It's almost five o'clock, yeah, here. Um, queen of cups. So the feminine is in a very loving energy. Um, it's like she would like to offer this cup or receive this cup from the masculine, but at the same time, she feels lost or she feels ghosted by this masculine or blocked, cut off from him, or this is her no longer in this energy. Like she's the one that's cutting off the masculine. Like you know, even if you ask, I'm I'm not taking you back. So you just have to, you know, figure out where you're at. But the first energy is what I get more majority when I say something. Okay. So it does feel like the feminine feels cut off from this, but all the masculine has to do is ask and she will uh, give this masculine this cup. Okay. So, um, let me see if it'll tell me anything about more here of why the feminine is in this energy yeah in exchange okay like an invitation all you have to do is invite me you know make some type in exchange um and i'm open to it 27 could be significant it's also a nine um unexpected income um, the feminine could also be feeling uh, cut off from her finances. Um, she could be, you know, feeling lost because maybe some income that she was expecting didn't come through. That's a side note as well. That's not the majority of what I'm getting. I feel like this is more emotionally uh, related. Okay. It could have to do with the masculine or may not have anything to do with the masculine, you know, at all. So you'll know how this uh, resonates. Okay. So I'm just going to put these cards, bring these down here just so I have them closer. I don't know what I'm, what I'm doing right there. Anyways, let me move this up and let me move this one over here in case I need to refer to it. So now let's go ahead and see what is the current situation between um, the masculine and the feminine. We kind of see a little bit but like i said it could not have anything to do with the connection so we're going to get three cards to see the current situation between them we have retaliation punish payback revenge interlude pause timing factor and then we have a karmic a third party relationship a lesson all right so the first message that i'm getting here is current situation between the masculine and the feminine is that they're on some type of pause, an interlude, a break due to possibly a karmic as we see the masculine has a karmic around them. So a lot of you guys, it's going to be an actual person. Um, others, if it's not a person, it is a lesson. Okay. Um, there is a lesson here to teach someone to not be in this retaliatory energy, but the current situation is for the majority of you is that there's a pause due to retaliation by a karmic. Okay. That either wanted to punish you, uh, you know, pay back, you know, uh, pay you back in some type of way, or, it, you know, um, I don't know why I can't talk, <laughs> wanted to, um, take revenge upon you. Okay. So that is what's going on for a lot of you guys. And then the others that, it, um, if it has to do with a lesson, it's something to teach this person, um, that's connected, you know, take it how it resonates. The energies can be flipped male or female. Um, it could be to teach this person to either calm down from this energy, especially if they did something very, uh, retaliatory towards you is to, um, give this a break. So this, this would be teaching a person a lesson, how to not be in that energy. Okay. So I'm just going to um, clarify these energies and then I'm going to get that card I told you about before I take it over to the um, extended. So what's this retaliation energy? 
distance. That's what it is. The the retaliatory uh, thing here between the two of you guys, since I can't <laughs> get my words out, 36, and that's a nine, okay? Uh, there are a couple nines here, independent, single. Um, you guys could be single, um, but dealing, you know, maybe with karmics or karmic lessons. That is also the Virgo's uh, Hermit card. So uh, some of you guys could be a Virgo. Uh, this person could be retaliating a Virgo or Virgo could be retaliating against this person by teaching them a lesson. Um, but this is what how the person was paying this person back was by distance. Okay. Also, I'm picking up too. There could be something here because this talks about emotions with this card. There could be some emotions here that is starting to... Um, surface like it's sur it's resurfacing were to the point where it's kind of paying this person back for putting a pause in between this connection okay whoever did it or whoever retaliated and so what's this interlude pause timing factor in the house so it can be very quiet in the house uh, your house, their house, could be a lot of uh, thinking going on. Um, I'm getting there. Something cut. There's some type of timing factor here um, taking place, either in someone's thoughts or they're thinking about either coming towards the house or there's just silence or pause in the house, pause in the relationship in your foundation like the foundation is on some type of pause all right so what is a karmic energy here gift 17 it's, a, it's an eight um i feel like it's a lesson for a lot of you guys like whatever has happened between the two of you guys, it's a lesson towards either for you to keep your distance from this person till they come out of this energy, or it's a lesson because this person put you in this distance that they need to make some type of offer. So I feel like a lot of you guys are teaching this person to pause this energy this retaliatory energy or revenge or whoever it is, the karmic, whatever that's going on. Maybe the karmic is the masculine since he's in the king of wands energy. If he's in a, in a negative energy, he would be, you know, very dishonest, not telling you the truth, maybe bitter, uh, angry. Um, yeah. So I think that's what the lesson here, there's some type of distance going on and it's a lesson around this gift here to, give to receive i feel like this is almost like a gift to this person it's also what i'm getting too as an additional message all right so let me try to keep things on time this is the oracle of shadows and light and so now we're going to see as a result of all of this what energy is this masculine in towards you and then we'll clarify and extend it um the link to the extended is below if you haven't hit the like button yet please do so now. I really appreciate it. If it resonates, uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. And if you want to extend it, the link is below as well as all my social media accounts and, um, uh, how to get any of the items you see here. Okay. So like I said, I'm going to read this and then I'm going to dissect this and then extend it as to the energy. I may read a little bit here right now. Let me just see. Okay. You see clearly his, it, he, okay. When I say he can be a male or female, take it how it resonates. I refer to the masculine as he, okay. Number 12 could be significant. Remember that 12, remember how I said this at the very beginning, there's something about the 12th, something may happen on the 12th of this month or something could have happened in December, but some, maybe this is your life path number. This is, number is very significant, okay? So this masculine is in this energy where you see clearly, you see through him, okay? You have this clairvoyance <clears throat> towards the masculine. And this has come up in my readings uh, recently 
about this intuition type of thing that the masculine is having. So we're going to now take this over to the extended. I'm going to see what exactly do you see clearly about this masculine? There's a lot of eyes here. So it's like his intuition is telling him something like you, you see right through him, you know, what's about to take place, you know, what's going on. I don't know, but you see him clearly. So that's very clear. And that's where I'm going to leave it here. Okay. So I hope this resonated for you. Um, and you guys are enjoying your weekend and, um, I'll see some of you guys, uh, in the extended. So you guys have a wonderful day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are until next time, next video. Peace, love, and light.